Hello and welcome back. Today we've got another £500 worth of £2 coins. Looking for the commemorative ones, the ones with more than face value, but ideally we want one of the missing, well, the missing one we in, in the book. Actually, that, I forgot. Yeah, we've got the Navy Centenary of the Era, haven't we? So the live streams we don't. So all we are missing is Commonwealth Games Wales, and then we've got every other circulating £2 coin design, including that, the one with the Navy Centenary of the Era. I'll just show you what I mean. As you can see, no flag. Error has that's the full flag. There is also partial flag error you can find as well. You never know, maybe we'll get lucky and I'll be able to show you one of them today as well in the hunt. But last page you've got the last two that were circulated. Up to the Great Fire of London, we've got every other one. We've just got that one more <laughs> coin to find. If it was Commonwealth Games Northern Ireland we were still looking for, I'd probably say after so many episodes we'll call an end to it, but there's got to be a Wales out there. There's got to be Wales out there. We're overdue a Commonwealth Games, so let's cross our fingers and get into this bag. Right then, so what is it that we're looking for? Let's get into the first bag. Well, that's that's technologies. We don't want technologies, they just go back to the bank. That is Brunel's portrait though. It's a fairly common one, but it's a neat design. It's nice to get the variety in a hunt as well. But if we can find any Commonwealth games, we've been on, gone a long time without Commonwealth games. Florence Nightingale there, another fairly common one. But I hope this video comes to you in more positive times. As I've said in the past, I do record a couple of weeks in advance and with, with what's going on in the world currently, I am a little bit further ahead just in case uh, my uh, source of coins gets cut off. We've got Charles Dickens there, a very common one. We've got counters tracking Charles Dickens amongst other common ones. But, and again, people are asking again with what's gone on in the world, the sort of health crisis, uh, is it still safe to touch coins? Um, I'm no medical expert, so I'm not someone to ask. All I know is I'm very mindful that I wash my hands immediately after doing a coin hunt, because especially, not so much two pound coins, but, um, in terms of the, how dirty the hand my hands get, I still wash them thoroughly, but uh, the dirtiness of my, the, your hands will get after handling coins is phenomenal so definitely if you are touching coins hunting through coins just be mindful to make sure you do wash your hands i'm sure everyone does we've got trinity house there it's not the nicest of condition one it's one of my favorite coins though very cool design and also obviously the postponement of the olympic games with the uh, team gb 2020 olympic 50p has been delayed until next year the release the big question is Will it be a 2020 coin still released next year, i.e. the ones that are already minted ready for uh, the release, or are they going to be reissued as 2021 coins? Who knows? All I know is if you've got one with a, a one in, your, one in the, al the annual set showing it as 2020, that could become a fairly desirable coin. We've got another Charles Dickens there. That's a nice condition one, actually. Very shiny, isn't it? There we go. And people do ask, do I clean my coins? Like, for instance, that uh, Trinity House is pretty grubby. Short answer is no, I don't. Uh, so the problem with cleaning coins is that you lose any intrinsic value in the coin if you clean it. We've got Bruno's portrait. Even if you are just washing it with warm water, you shouldn't really be doing it. But then again, they're your coins. It's your collection. If you're not collecting as an investment or whatever, Go for it. Grab a really pad. Go for your life. <laughs> but if you want to protect the, um, I don't know, any sort of value in the coin, collectability in the coin, don't clean it. <laughs> We've got Guy Fawkes there. Another very common one. We do actually have counters for this one as well. So we'll pop that on the counter. And we also have counters for the VE Day anniversary. I believe that's all three of the common counters now we found. Uh, this one being the most common one that we find overall. Right. Let's see if we can get a bit more luck in this bag. Oh dear. No. So what we'll do, we'll mix things up. We'll do an edge hunt. Like I know the guys on the live stream love it when I do this. A couple of people in the comments disagree. 
I mean, the majority of the bags I won't do like this, but it's, it's a bit of fun. So the two pound coins will have edge inscriptions. So standing on the shoulders of giants is the definitive design, the technologies you can see there. Anything else? I think we got something in the middle here. What have we got? Isambard Kingdom Brunel. So that will be Brunel's portrait, I bet. Which one was it? It's this one, wasn't it? There we go, Brunel's portrait. Again, a common one. I did think I saw another one as well. Oh, there we go. Magnanimity. <laughs> For those of us live streams, when I first did this, magnanimity, I kind of struggled saying. I think I've got it now. Magnanimity. It should be the VE Day anniversary again. There we go. Magnanimity, magnanimity, hot diggity, who knows? But I think that is just about all of them. These will just all just be technologies left. Which they are. This is a bit of fun trying to learn what the edge inscriptions of the coins are. The more common ones, I think I'm getting down pat. Obviously, it's the less common ones uh, that is going to take longer to learn. We've got Lord Kitchener there. That's another common one. And we've got Brunel's Way. Where are you going? Brunel's Arches, the achievements at Paddington Station. Again, a common design. Nothing else there. But I'm excited for some £2 coin releases in the year. I think, again, to not keep harping on about what's going on in the world, may have an impact on releases, pushing them, postponing them to later in the year. But who knows? As I said, I'm a couple of weeks behind on when this video goes out. So things could have all settled down by the time this video goes out. I hope there is. I hope you're all safe and have got through it unscathed well, we're not getting much luck in these bags just now are we but all it takes is one corker of a find or to quote the great sage bungle one plum find Let's see if I'm invoking his name will summon Shakespeare comedies which I still <laughs> am really excited about finding I know lots of people up north or in Scotland are finding lots and lots of comedies. I'm still tough to find one because I don't get them very often. We've got another Trinity house there. Lovely stuff. That's just I guess that's just the way it works. It feels like with the comedies it's regional releases, where, but uh, there are plenty of other coin designs which I find plenty of, which I know other coin tubers struggle, like the Navy Centenary I tend to have very good luck with, which I won't complain about because it's a lovely, lovely coin to find. We've got the steam locomotive there, another common one. Oh, I see Charles Dickens to start this bag off. Pop him with the other one, with the other two we found. But no, I'm excited about starting a new book again on the two pound coins. I know I keep saying it. One of these days is going to happen. Whether it will happen on the live streams first is another question because live streams are just waiting for Scotland Commonwealth Games again as of recording we may have already found it by now uh, Commonwealth Games Scotland there's also the Navy Centenary the error which because it's a variant I'm quite happy to move on if I don't find uh, that before the Scotland Commonwealth Games another Charles Dickens there nothing else in that bag though All right, I think we'll look at the edges of the coins again Mix it up a little bit. Let's see what we can find. Uh, I don't spot anything. I think these are all just going to be technologies. We'll always do this and we'll do the next one. There's an edge hunt. There we go. Oop. I 
again. I think this is all just standing on the shoulders of giants. I'm sure if I've missed something, you'd be screaming in the comments as well. Telling me that you spotted it, you spotted it. Not that back there. Come on, there's got to be something. Got to be something. I kind of want an, an odd design. One that we don't see too often, so I can try and guess, hazard a guess as to what the edge inscription is. I don't see anything again on this one. Unbelievable. We have hit a bit. Bit of a dry patch here. It's got to be this bag, right? It's got to be this bag. No. Oh dear. Well, this is not the kind of run you want to find. Unbelievable. I still do check them. I know if they are all standing on the shoulders of giants, I don't need to check them, but just because the amount of times I have missed designs. Oh, Lord. We got another bust. Outrageous. Outrageous. <laughs> I guess sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. We've actually only got two bags left. Right, well, we'll any mini mini mo it. I'm going go for this one. Right, come on. We'll get something. We've got to have something in here. Holy Toledo. Have we just hit another another empty bag? I think so. Oh no. Well. Unfortunately, that was a horrendous dry streak. Let's hope that this last bag brings us a bit of luck, because by golly do we need it, we haven't found anything over face value. But for those of you that watched this part of the video, a big thank you. I hope you've had much more luck than I have with this hunt. So we've got Active Union, again only a common face value one, but I won't complain. Ah, this is much more like it. Bruno's Arches, the achievements of Bad Paddington, Paddington? Paddington Station again. Uh, but yeah, for those of you who watched this final video, I do have a Discord server. You can click the link down in the description to come and join that. You do have to be over 13 to be on Discord, though. That's their rules, not my rules. Uh, you can also contact me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Um, and there's also the peer box you can write into as well. But, well, that was not the most successful £2 coin hunt I've ever had. I think the star pull crumbs who knows i'm gonna say the florence nightingale purely because they're all common ones and that is my favorite uh, circulating two pound coin design it's just such a pretty design really really neat there's a lot going on it but it's in a nice way rather than like the benjamin britain which i'm not a massive fan of because how, how busy it is lovely lovely coin and quite poignant uh given the given the health crisis we're going through as well well as ever all that leads me to do is wish you all uh safe safety and health I hope you've enjoyed and I'll watch and I'll, I'll watch and I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye.